and no man cometh to the Father but by me. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. A man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God have given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. These are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through him abundantly. And this is the life. And this is life eternal. He that believeth on the Son have everlasting life. And he that believeth not on the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. God is angry with the wicked. Come now, let us reason together saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. For by grace are ye saved, through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But without Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And to him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Ye must be born again. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Though he were dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. God is not marked for whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But God, who commanded his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, who his own self bared our sins in his own body on the tree, 
If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Christ died for our sins. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the, G the, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come into him. All out there is listening. This is a prayer that you can say for all the backsliders that are going astray from God that once came and said this, uh, um, gave their life to Christ, and for some reason and somehow. That's between you and the Lord. But tonight you have a chance to say this prayer and come on back and mean it. And for those who have never said this prayer and want Jesus Christ into their lives, you repeat this after me. And it goes, God, be merciful to me. I am a sinner. I believe Christ died for me and that his precious blood will cleanse me from all my sin. By faith I now receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior, trusting him for the salvation of my soul. Help me, Lord, to do thy will each day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I want to just say to you right here and now, for you out there who said that, praise the Lord. And just, I'm glad that you said it and I want you to mean it. And for the backsliders that said it, I want you to mean it. But I want you to daily get a chair kitchen chair, living room chair, dining room chair, get a chair and kneel before it and get you a Bible. Get you a Bible, open the Bible up to the Psalms, put the Bible on the chair and you kneel down in front of the chair in the Bible and you read. And after you read and let the Lord talk to you through the book of Psalms, and he'll lead you what to read every day. It's a relationship, and it takes time. But you have to start somewhere, and tonight is a good time to do it. And while you're down there on your knees, you ask the Lord to help you through whatever you're going through. Nobody has to know it's between you and him. And that's how you build your relationship up. And that's how you start. But I thank you tonight for humbling yourself to the Lord and allowing him to help you because he's our help. He is our help. Not only in time of trouble, in, in, time, in good times, He's there. We, we, we build a relationship with Him. We're just not trying to use Him and leave Him. We're trying to build a relationship with Him so He can teach us good ways in life and how to live a rich life through Christ Jesus. Because He did die on the cross for us for a reason. 
And you should find out through this relationship that you have with the Lord. And he will direct you. He will direct your path in all ways. So I'm glad tonight that you chose to come back to the Lord. And for those who never accepted Christ, I'm glad that you are saved and you can fellowship with Christians and you just stay on your knees every day. You find time to do that. And God will direct you. He'll send people to you and everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful life. So I'm going to finish by saying these things have I written to you that believe on the name and the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Therefore, being justi justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And the peace of God which pass of all, all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And that's the first commandment out of the ten. I'll read it again. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And that's Matthews 22, 37. I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God have prepared for them that love him. Amen. Such a rich life with God. Such a beautiful rich life. Teaches you how to live through life and live through it abundantly and your family, your children. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to allow God to enter into your life and to have a relationship with his son. So tonight we um, we're glad that we could touch on that. I have some things that um, the spirit of the Lord touched me to read to you about Jesus and some of the things that he has done some of the time that he was here on earth. And uh, this one section was like, the things that makes a person unclean. Then Jesus called upon the crowd to them and said to them, listen and understand, it is not what goes into a person's mouth that makes them uh, richly unclean. Rather, what comes out of it, that's what makes him unclean. Then the disciples came to him and said, Do you know that the Pharisees had their feelings hurt by what you said? Every plant which my Father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up, answered Jesus. Don't worry about them. They are blind leaders of the blind. And when one blind man leads another both fall into a ditch so peter spoke up explain this saying to us jesus said to them you are still no more intelligent than the others don't you understand anything that goes into a person's mouth goes into the stomach and then on out of his body but the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart and these are the things that make a person 